Hello, how are you? Hi, Emma. Is it Emma or Emily? I think it's Emily. How are you? <laughs> it's actually supposed to get really warm, Emily. That's what I thought. Thank you. Um, it's actually supposed to get really hot here in Michigan as well. They're saying upwards to 100 degrees. So uh, the next week, and we're not used to that weather here in Michigan. So, <laughs> well, hello, everyone. Thanks for coming in. Um, for those of you that are joining, please go over to the right-hand side and say hello so that I know you're here. Um, we are going to do a giveaway today, um, and that giveaway um, is, is not a full kit, but it's a great start. Um, for this journey that we're going to um, start on with these build a journal kits. So um, if you would please, hi everyone, hello, hello. Um, so we're gonna start by, I'm just gonna kind of go through the kit again as people are coming, coming in and kind of chit chat a little bit. And then um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what are some things you guys would like to see. Um, just so you know, I have been frantically putting things in my Etsy shop. Um, and so if you have not checked it out, oh, sorry, I just uh, tipped my computer over. Um, it's Rachel's Cute Creations um, at Etsy backslash shop. Anyway, just if you go, just to make sure you type in everything correctly in Etsy and you'll be able to find it. Hi, Linda. Hi, Amanda. Um, so anyway, I'm so excited to launch the Build a Journal kits. And, and I just want to clarify a couple of things for people because um, there was a little bit of confusion on them. So I'm going to just talk about it a little bit and then we'll get to our giveaway in, in a little bit. So these kits um, will be shipping out this week for anybody who purchases a kit. A um, couple things I'm finishing up. First of all, um, I'm adding more things to the kit. So there'll be more things than I show and that are in my my pictures because I keep finding things that I want you guys to have um, to start these this amazing journey. And the other thing is, is I'm finishing up the three videos. So um, I can tell you that two of the videos are going to be just focused on um, types of pockets and um, tucks. So one will be a pockets and one will be tucks. And I've been creating some new ones. So these are ones that you, some of them you'll have, you may have seen done before, but I've also been creating some new ones, which I'm really excited about. Um, so those will be a couple of tutorials. And then um, the other tutorial will be kind of about how to assemble it, how to use it, those types of things, um, and uh, which will be a, a shorter video. And the third video is going to be, you know, focusing on how to use things that you have around you to create embellishments. So those are the first three videos. They're not completely done yet, so it's going to take me a couple of um, days. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> Carrie said she purchased my fabric and lace kit and everything is gorgeous and she loved everything about it. So I appreciate that. Um, so the first add-on kit is lavender linens and lace. And in my shop, I was not going to release it until August, but um, the boho kit is going to be the second kit, second add-on kit. And I'm waiting for things to come from India still. Um, so I wanted to get this one out because I, what I'm going to do is as I get these kits done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just launch them, um, because I still want you guys to kind of think about it from a fiscal standpoint and a, a financial standpoint of, you know, yeah, I'm going to do one of these kits a month, one of these add-ons, but, 
Um, I want to release them so that if you want to get ahead, you can, or if you want to do, for example, um, the winter wonderland kit, if you want to start that in November instead of December, that's perfectly fine. So that's kind of the thought process behind that. So um, lavender linens and lace kit is all set. Um, one of the things you did since the, the, video that I showed you is that I have just finished all of the handmade paper that day, hand making paper, um, which I'm very excited about because it's the first time that I've done that. And unfortunately, the lighting in here is not showing the beautiful lavender. Um, but this handmade paper is gorgeous. Um, it has little speckles in it. I wish it, it showed you a little bit better what the color is. Um, the color is, is much more lavender than what's showing up right now. Um, so anyway, excited about, so that's, that's done. Linda, you ordered uh, a lace kit from me. Did you order a lavender and linen kit, um, kit or just one of my original lace kits? I am gonna teach how to embroider this one. Um, the videos in this kit is going to be all about hand embroidery. Thank you for asking, Carrie. And, and we're going to be making, um, you're gonna get this pattern right here, how to do these lavender pieces. Um, and I hand drew those. So you're gonna get, those are gonna be exclusive and you're gonna be able to do those. Um, I'm going to teach you how to do a single stem lavender as well as adding some just little bits of embroidery that are easy um, to your fabric pieces. And then I'm going to teach you how to do this daisy and how to bead it and embellish it. Um, it's kind of hard to see. And then I've also added some little light pink right there as well. Um, this is a little bigger daisy that I just finished. So you're gonna learn how to do these. Um, Anybody is going to be able to do this, you guys. I'm going to tell you right now, I've hardly embroidered in my life. Um, and everything that you need is in here. So you're going to have your embroidery floss. You're going to have two actual embroidery needles, the hoop, all of your fabric to do the embroidery. Um, and then you're going to have the linens and lace kit to build some of these. There's actually some note cards in there, some heavy duty note cards. So if you want to make them paperbacks like I did on this one versus these, um, and these are great. These, you know, if you have someone who likes to read, you can make these into bookmarks for Christmas and wrap these up. Wouldn't they be absolutely gorgeous to, um, to make and, and give to someone? Um, so if you've purchased my lavender and lace larger kit, um, and you want to purchase the lid lab, I'm sorry. Oh, now I've got too many L's. If you've purchased the linen and lace kit from me, but you also want to purchase one of these, if you'll just put a note in Etsy stating that you've already purchased one of these kits, I will make sure that you have different lit lab, ugh, different linens and laces, excuse me, I'm tongue tied in um, your kit because I do have some of the same. And so I want to be able to give you a variety if you have both and you guys will be, um, you know, I've, I've the three skeins and I'm going to show you guys how to do this because this is how I keep it. Um, but this is just a great little kit that you can take with you, do on the go. You can do this in the car, on the couch. Um, and so these kits are $25, but remember, and you get three video tutorials with these um if and those are exclusive those will not be on my main website they'll be on the back of this card um the codes will be on the back you can watch it as much as you want um if you purchase the base kit every add-on kit is a five dollar off coupon for you so um that's kind of an incentive as well so i know the the base kits are forty dollars um but you're gonna get um, three tutorials with this, all of the supplies, all of these things with it. Plus, you're going to get um, the $5 off coupons for every add-on kit you choose. So if you, you choose one kit, 
you know, that's $5 off. If you choose all seven of the kits that I'm going to be offering over the next seven months, then you get $35 off. So it's savings. The more add-on kits you purchase, um, the more you're going to save. So if you, you end up buying, you know, actually there's going to be eight. So if you end up buying all eight add-on kits, your base kit's going to end up being free for you. So just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, if you would, please give me a thumbs up and um, let's see who else. Yeah. And I will tell you, um, Carrie, the duplicates, I mean, the laces that I have are gorgeous. In fact, um, I just got some French lace today. I'll show everybody that's going to go in the kit and it is sort of a um, blush color. Um, my vendor came through for me. I don't know if you can, you can't. So this is it. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. But I wanted to kind of show it to you on white. It's hard to see. I don't know if you're going to be able to. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, it's hard to see in the light, but it's a very light blush color. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to play with it. Um, you can see it a little bit better on there. Um, I can't wait to play with it. But you guys, this is going to be gorgeous in these linen and lace. Um, art pieces. So, you know, thinking kind of of Christmas, I know nobody really wants to think about that, but we're not very far away. But what a great little gift that you could make people um, a little um, great to send in happy mail. But this is a great bookmark. You could just use this as a bookmark. You could use it as, um, you know, for me, I would just lay this on my desk or hang it up because I just love the look of it. So, hi, Mary. Oh, Debbie, it's really blurry. I'm sorry. Is anybody else having trouble? Why is it blurry? Okay. So, Tube has been giving us some trouble. And buffering. Blurry and buffering. Hmm. Let's see. It's really pixely. Well, what I can do, um, I may need to get the, see if I can get the internet to, in one second, let me run a diagnostic real quick here. Getting ready to have set. Move my hands slower. <laughs> okay, is that any better, you guys? You may need to go out and come back in. Um, When everything's still, it's not blurry. Okay, thank you, Carrie. Okay, I'll try to go a little slower with my hands. Um, I just ran a diagnostic, so I'm hoping that it's it's gonna work. Um, if you're still having trouble, you may wanna go out and come back in because sometimes refreshing will help. Better for you. Okay, good, good. Just keep letting me know if we're having problems and I'll try to move my hands slower. Um, I just ran a diagnostic and so hope this kit and we'll get to the, the drawing in just a few minutes. So I know some of, most of you have on it cause you've watched the video. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about what does this look like put together and how might you use it? And I'm sorry, I left my little hooks over here, my little binder. Here, so let me grab those. Okay, so first of all, you're going to get one and a half inch binder rings. And um, I did this purposely because I my thought is I need a place. I don't necessarily love a binder ring journal. Um, it's not something that I normally make all the time, but 
One thing I do like about binder ring journals, if you've never made one before, is that they lay flat when you write on them. And I'll show you in just a second. I'll get my fingers working. Sorry, guys. So, so when you're you have these, and this is full, which I'll just put some paper, set some papers in it so you can kind of see. Okay, so when it's full and you start flipping papers, these lay completely flat, which is nice. Oh, glad that helps, Linda. Um, so they lay completely flat, flat, which I love. Now, the other thing that's really nice about a binder or journal, binder ring journal, is you can move the pages wherever you want. You don't have to have the pages in a spot. Um, and it's fun because you can work on them. So these journals only come with the covers punched. And I had a few of you comment that you didn't really like the binder journal. And so maybe this wasn't for you. Okay. So what I've decided to do, which is why it's going to take me a little longer to get these shipped out. I was going to ship tomorrow, but I, I need another day is I'm gonna also include a spine for, for in each kit. If you don't want to use the spine, if you don't wanna use the spine, I'll talk about that in a minute, then when you can use it like I did and make yourself a little embroidery card. Um, but I wanna be flexible for all of you. Um, so if you want to not have the binder rings, all you're going to have to do is just maybe put a piece of washi tape over these holes and on both sides, and then you can cover it with paper as you normally would, and then you can make yourself a hard bound journal, okay? So this I'm going to add to everybody's kit, and like I said, I'm still going to have the only page. I did not punch the pages. I only punched the cover for everybody because I wanted you to be able to use it as a template. Now, the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is um, I, I want to put a couple of pages in it. So um, you're going to get a couple of different pages. I like these pages that are that have a hinge. So we're going to put one of those in there. So all you're going to do when you get this kit is you're just going to I'm using a pen, but I would normally use a pencil, but I'm using a pen so you all can see it, is you're just going to use your little journal cover and you're going to put your hole or mark your holes and then you're going to get your paper punch. So really the only other tool you need for this kit is a paper punch. And if you don't have one, now is the perfect time to get one because... Now, these holes are going to be a little bit bigger than these holes, and, and, and I like that for a reason, because one, the pages will go, if you just get a regular hole punch, this is a 5 eighths hole, and I purposely made that a smaller hole uh, because it keeps the cover better for you, and you just use a regular hole punch for these. So, um, what I'm going to do then, oops. Sorry, guys. More about it because I'm going to really talk to you in the tutorials about this. Some people now, some concerns people had was I don't want to put all of those different themes in this one journal. Well, you don't have to. Okay. My original thought was I want a place that I can store all these ideas that I get from my tutorials. Um, if I was taking a course, and I was doing a kit, I would want a place where I can store all these ideas that I learned from these classes. So it's not any different than if you were taking a class from me live. I want a place to store them all so that when I make my own journals, I can just pull out one book and I can um, use it to get ideas from to build my own journal. And as I'm watching YouTube videos or I'm watching other people, I can add to this. I mean, it's so easy to just add a page to it, okay? So that was the, the thought process behind it. Um, the build a journal was let's create something that all of my inspiration is in. 
Now, if you want to write in this, so my thought would be, okay, if I'm learning, if this is my book and this is my, and I'm doing the first tutorial in this kit that comes, it's going to be all about tuck spots and things like that. And so this is not a tuck spot, but we're going to just pretend that I don't want to show anybody. So let's say this is a tuck spot. OK, let's say whatever this is, I we've made I made it along with with you on the video and I've got it. I'm going to glue it in my book. Now I can do one of two things. I can document at the top here what the video was. I can put Rachel's super cute creations. And write the video right in here so that if I need to refer back to that video, I can. I can do that. And so that's the thought process behind this journal. Now, you can take this journal and do whatever you want with this kit. Okay. But that was my thought process when I originally designed this journal. And then I said, okay, I want to teach people in each of these add on kits something different. So I purchased this add on kit. I make all of these embroidery pieces. I take one, I put it in my journal, attach it. How and I and I can't. I don't want to show you because I don't want to give everything up. Um, that are but I'm gonna you know add it to my my piece and there we go. Now I've got this. Okay, a reminder. I go. I open this up. I flip through it. Oh, you know what? I remember back when I did this six months ago, I want to add one of those fiber art pieces or, hey, those techniques that I did in the boat, um, which I'm so excited to show you those. We're going to do a lot of paper clip um, techniques and you guys are going to be excited about those. So that journal kit's going to be coming. Absolutely. It could be ephemeral. It can be just about anything. So that's what this kit is about. And my the kit is about inspiration. Um, as I said to you before, if you watched my most recent live, um, I've been big into watching Rachel Hollis. Um, and if you haven't followed her on Instagram or you haven't read any of her books, check it out. Everybody's inspiring. We need to give ourselves some credit and we need to acknowledge what we accomplished. And so for uh, for me, these books are about acknowledging what you're learning putting it in here, having a reference, having a great um, experience. And in each of the add-on kits, there's going to be a paper elements in there for you to add, as well as other elements. When you're done, you're going to have an entire course. When I charge live for my classes, you guys, I charge $65. You're getting three videos, all of the supplies, and you can email me anytime for 40 bucks. Okay. I charge $60 almost an hour or $60. Well, about a two hour class, I, I charge $60. So you're getting a lot of stuff for that. So, and hey, I, and this, I'm going to buy this kit and all I'm going to do is decorate this entire thing with the linens and lace and, and that's it. Great. You're done. You know, you, you're done with this kit. Um, there is going to be a cover add-on kit, but that's going to be a while down the road. Um, but you're welcome to decorate your cover however you want. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give people a little more information about this amazing kit. Okay. Any questions about what I said? Are we still okay? Thank you so much, Carrie. I appreciate it. Yeah, they are gorgeous. And I am so excited to teach you guys how to make those beautiful pieces. So excited. Is there anything else? Um, is there anything else that you guys would like to see in ad kits? Um, one of the comments that I received was, um, maybe some specific holiday themes. And so I'll start thinking about that. Um, I probably will only do like maybe Christmas, uh, maybe another one. I don't want to get too many of the holiday themes going because there's a lot of people that have are already doing that. Oh, I'm sorry, Debbie. Yes. Can I explain the prices? Absolutely. So the base kit is $40 plus shipping to you. 
That includes three exclusive videos just for you. Okay. And it includes $5 off any add on kit that you purchase for the duration of this line. Okay. So this is the first line that I'm going to be doing. There's going to be at least six add on kits, but I'm thinking closer to eight. So that being said, if I get five, so these are $40, all of the add-on kits are $25. So if you purchase the base kit, you get on code, you'll be able to add on kit. And so that makes them $20. So ultimately, if you buy all of the add-on kits, you're going to get your base kit for free. Now, I know not everybody is going to get all of those um, for free. The other thing you're going to get is... Um, you're going to get a um, ticket into giveaway. So each purchase, whether it's this one or this one, I will be doing random giveaways and you will, um, you'll be able to get some freebies. Now, if you don't want the base kit, that you can purchase that on kit. It's available to anybody. And you'll still get the videos. You'll still get the tutorials. Okay. So you can get either one, but the, you know, the advantage of getting the base kit is you're going to get all those supplies to get started. You're going to get three additional videos plus come in your kit. Um, and then you're going to get $5 off each base kit that you purchase. Okay. Debbie, these are going to be in my shop, my Etsy shop. They're already up. Actually, I posted them already. So you can go to Etsy, um, Rachel's Cute Creation, and you can purchase them today. Um, anybody who purchases within the next six hours or has already purchased one of the base kits um, is going to get a free gift in their bag. Anybody who purchases one of the lavender linen and lace kits today I will also give you a free surprise gift, okay? But that's only today. Um, it is 9 p.m., nine, almost 9.30 here in Michigan. Um, so I'll do that for the next, um, let's say, five hours. So, so 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Anybody who purchases between now and then, Either one of these kits will get a free gift in their um, purchase as well. All right. So let's do, are we ready for the giveaway? All right. So we have lots of people who gave me comments and information. Um, and I threw everybody's name in this little, oops, sorry, in this cookie jar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one person. That one person, the giveaway is going to be one of my scrap packs plus 50% off a build a journal kit. Whoever wins this, you're going to have to email me right away. Yes, it is going to be a library of tutorials, Linda, and they're yours. So they're not out there for everybody. Um, they're yours. You can save them to your computer. Um, or you'll be able to just use the code to log on to each time. If you buy the Build a Journal kit, my recommendation would be to take the little card. So, for example, the journal, ooh, the, the codes for these tutorials are on the back of this card. My recommendation would be to just write in your Build a Journal kit, um, either tuck it in or I would personally put a hinge on it. So that when I'm ready to get those tutorials again, I can go to my journal, open it up, flip this over, and I can type in the, the code to get to that um, to get to that tutorial. Excuse me. So um, it's okay, Debbie. We're I'm gonna have other I, I'm gonna have other um, giveaways tonight. So Oh, yay. Carrie just placed her add-on order. Awesome. Thanks, Carrie. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're going to get a free gift. So cool. All 
everybody who has already been in the drawing earlier this last couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and do the drawing. That person is getting a certificate. You'll, there's a special code on the back for 50% off a build a journal kit. If you've already purchased a build a journal kit um, from me previously, I will um, give you 50%. I will, um, I will give you an add on kit for free. How's that? Okay, if you have already purchased that. Oh, yes, Debbie. The name of my shop is Rachel's Cute Creation. I'll leave that right there. Now, I'm going to do some other giveaway. Hi, Tammy. Glad you made it. All right. So, we're going to draw. We're going to draw for the giveaway. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Okay, it is Rhonda Garrison. Rhonda Garrison is our winner. Rhonda, if you are out there, are you in the house right now? Not sure. It's okay that you're late. Not a problem. Um, Rhonda, if you are in the house, I need you to email me right away. Um, if not, um. I will try to respond to your message and let you know. Congratulations, Rhonda. So Rhonda is getting a 50% off coupon for a Build-A-Journal kit. And she's going to get this mailed to her. Now, I'm going to do some other ways for everybody who's here, just here tonight. So um, I'm going to dump these out. And if you're here in the house right now, I need you to give me your name. Just type it in. So I can put you in my jar, okay? I know Carrie's in here. Paper puddles. Emily's in here. I haven't forgotten to email you. I will tonight. Uh, I, I forgot what you were emailing me about. Mary, you, Mary from Tidbits from the Attic. All right, add me in there. Is it Yasina? Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yasina Diaz. Let's see, who else did I miss? Tammy is in here. Tammy from OKC. Victoria. The Victorian Edge. All right, who else are we missing? Who did I miss? There's 11 of us in here. Turquoise Dreaming, what is your name? So that I can put you in our drawing. There's 12 of us in here, guys, and I only have two, four, six. I only have six people in the drawing. Sherry, Sherry, sorry, I don't have my glasses on, so I'm, I can't see. All right, Sherry, Phyllis, Phyllis, I'm adding you. Michelle Decker, I, did I put you in, Michelle? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. That's all right. If I didn't, I'll put you in anyway. Put you in again. All right, who else? Who else is in here? All right, so I thought I'd also kind of show some other things that I have in my shop. And then, um, first of all, does anybody have any questions about the Build a Journal kits? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome, Sherry. 
Does anyone else have any questions about the Build a Journal kits? Okay. Anybody who purchases today, anybody who purchases a kit or an add-on, um, lavender linens and lace add-on, either one of those, you're going to get a free gift shipped to you. Okay. Um, these are going to go out. I'm going to tell you the lavender linens and lace codes are going to be um, a couple of days. Amanda, how are you? I'll add you. Hopefully you guys didn't mute me. If you're here, um, does anybody want to see kind of what I've been packing up in, in my little space here? Does anybody want to see where I, where I work, my, my office? Okay, so I don't want to make you sick, but I have to turn my camera, okay? I have to turn my camera, and, um, and so I don't want to make you sick, but I'm going to turn it. So give me just one second here, um, because my camera setup is actually mounted to the wall above my desk. Um, my wonderful husband did that for me. So I'm sorry, I'm going to turn you guys around. You're going to be up. Oops, you're going to be upside down for a minute. Okay. And then I'm going to. Okay. So here is. So here is kind of where I've been packaging and working on um, the kits, the lavender and lace. I have all of the um, the handmade papers here. And then in the back behind me, I'll try to take you guys really slow. So right over, oops, right over here is where I do all my packaging. So that's all my packaging, and you can see I have all of my boxes and all of my Etsy supplies and things like that in there. And then over here are the cover, oops, those big ones. I don't even want to show you what's in those. Those cupboards are full of all of my stuff. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, the nice thing about this double table idea is, first of all, they fold. So when I'm not working on packaging things up um, I can take them down and have my office back and have a space but the other thing I love about this is you can pull this out so all of these things back here I still need to list in my Etsy shop and so here's where I can work I have this white down so that I can photograph right there um, but then I can push it back in so if you're looking for space state saving in small areas that is definitely um, an idea. And then over here um, is my messy, messy, messy. This is where I store all of my stuff to make junk journals as well as all my vintage ephemera. So that's kind of in that cupboard. And then the cupboard over here. I don't want to make anybody sick. Oops, sorry. So that cupboard is all of my package stuff for my store. So I keep everything stored in there. Um, we don't smoke. We're not smokers. And I do have two little hypogenic, hypoallergenic dogs. But I, I package everything in plastic, as you know. And then I seal it in totes. And then I put it in these cupboards just in case. Anybody, you know, I don't, I don't want dust to get in anything or anything like that. And then I don't know if I I'm probably am I making you guys sick. And then that's the door to my office. I store all of my like stamps and that kind of stuff on a hanging piece with um, a Christmas wreath hanger. <laughs> and then. This is the space that I work in. Sorry, let me move this cup here. And so this is sort of my scrap bin that I keep right on my desk. Um, and then if I keep going, 
There's my postage area. And then here is my uh, other little area that I keep. Here's my main desk. This is what you guys see all the time. And then over here in the corner is a TV screen where I watch videos. Um, I do have, I don't have regular TV in here, so I, I sometimes can stream. And then I don't, I can't show you over here. It's, it's not gonna, sh yeah, I can't, I can't get the camera angled right, but right over here, underneath my computer, right here. Oh, I can kind of show you, sorry. Right here is my printer. So I hope I'm not making everybody sick. So that's kind of my space. So hopefully I didn't make everybody sick. You didn't want to have to see. Oh, now I probably really have everything blurry, huh? Let me just tighten up my camera system. Now that I've loosened it up. Oh, okay, so you do everything from your phone. I know a lot of people record from their phones. Um, to be honest with you, I can't see well enough to, to do that, um, to make sure that I'm, I'm okay. So I actually have a webcam that uh, my husband put a mount to the wall so that I can adjust it up and down. Um, and I can spin it. The only camera has to be upside down, which is why I had to kind of turn you guys around. So I'm sorry if I made you sick. Uh, but that's just sort of my space. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> nice space. Great idea. The double tables. Nice space. Linda, um, how long will the first kit be available? Linda, once they're sold out, that's got 25 kits. So... I've got 25 of this kit. Right now I only have 12 of the lavender and laces made. Um, so if there is, then I will probably make some more, but it just depends on you know what people want. I don't wanna make tons of kits and, and, and not be able to sell them either, okay? My videos are from my phone too. I've only done three so far. Um, if you have a computer, sorry, I had to get a drink, you guys. The webcam that I have is not extremely expensive. Um, it's it's a let me tell you, it's a Logitech camera. Um, it connects to my computer. If you have a computer functional to use. There are some things that I would like a little bit better with it. Um, like one thing is, is I'd like better yeah, so you guys can see my videos a little bit better. Um, but other than that, um, you know, I have this morning when I, if you guys watched me when I did the, the real quick um, happy Sunday video, I did that for my cell phone um, so that I could kind of walk around. But other than that, I pretty much just video from my my main desk. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Thank you so much. Very clear right now. Okay, good. I'm glad it's clear, you guys. Hi, Luann. I'll add you to our little drawing. If anybody sees um, Rhonda Garnson come in, please let me know. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, if you have a um if you have a YouTube channel or you have an Etsy store and you want to share just so it's easier for you guys to click on. Um and if you would favorite each other's shops videos you guys because that is a way it just helps us out and this is my Etsy shop for any of you that want to run over there and take advantage it's are going quick guys so if if you want one you need to you're gonna need to go over there.
see what we have. Oh, Debbie, yeah, she's got a gift. This would be an amazing gift, you guys, for someone. And it would be a great Christmas gift if you know somebody that likes to craft or do whatever. Um, that would be great. Oh my gosh, Debbie, this will be wonderful for her. This will be wonderful. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, and, and it will allow her to sit and, and do something with her hands when she's watching him. Wow. That's amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate it. Okay. Because I know not everybody has seen them. Um, or, or, and they're not all done, you guys. These are just ideas. So um, let me talk a little bit about what those add-on kits are going to be. Um, and then if there is anything that you you want for add-on kits, I want to kind of get feedback from you guys. So there's going to be a Bohemian Days one. You guys, I just ordered. Well, first of all, let me share with you what just came in today from India is this gorgeous, um, it came in today, or yesterday, I'm sorry, today's Sunday. So this came in yesterday, so I'm excited, excited, excited for that add-on kit, as well as, um, let me show you some amazing, sorry, from India just came in. The problem is, is I'm waiting for a larger shipment. That is going to be in, oh my gosh, and it's not even in the pictures. Um, this gold, sorry, is vintage. It has the original sticker from the store on it. it. Has the price tag on it. So this is one that's going to be in that kit. I'm calling that kit Bohemian Days. It's my hope that that one will be up if it, by um, August. If not, it'll be September and I'll do the other one. But I already came in. So is that not beautiful? So this one, look at the, look at the border. So that... Oh, they're so heavy. I have them on this big hanger because I don't want them to get wrinkled up. Okay. So this one has all this gorgeous trim. It's red and black. But look at the gold. Oh, thank you, Vicki. Appreciate it. And then I have this gorgeous, gorgous, gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Is that gorgeous or what? And this, it's hard to see. Let's see if I can. Has. Like these little glittery rhinestone type things. I don't know if you guys can see them on here. So these are going to be in the next kit. Um, picked up this trim today. So I'm excited about the Bohemian kit. And... I also have some Cantha bags coming that's part of that kit to store all of your pieces. So that Bohemian, Bohemian add-on kit is going to have, of course, the sorry fabrics and things, but the focus is going to be beading dangles and adding things to your journals. And so um, I'm waiting, what I'm waiting for are beads from India. And I want some traditional Indian beads so that we can um, use that. 
I do have a few that I've been playing around with. Let me grab them out of my little dish here. Oh, I can't. Sorry, guys, my fingers are not working. Okay. So here's a few of the traditional ones that um, we'll be using, but, but I have colored beads coming from India. So that's what I'm waiting for. That and some more, um, and some um, appliques, okay? So that's kind of that kit. Um, I have a vintage flare kit that's going to be focused on all types of vintage papers um, and vintage ephemera. So good night, Mary. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's blurry again. Yeah, I'm going to be going to bed soon, Emily, because I have to go to work in the morning as well. And it's 10 o'clock. Um, the, um, there's going to be a winter wonderland one, and that's going to be focused on blues and crystal and more hand beading. Um, there's a frenzy one that's just going to have all kinds of fabrics and um, snippets and and those tutorials are going to be focused on what to do on the sides of your pages with fabric, um, with sewing, and with people who don't have sewing machines. So that's going to be fun. Um, and then February, or not February, but another one's going to be French Fabriques. Um, and then a couple of you asked me about steampunk. And I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys want a steampunk add-on kit? And if you guys want steampunk theme, Jennifer, you want steampunk? Okay. Yeah. So a, a couple of you were asked me about steampunk and I'm like, okay, well, that's cool. Um, but what I need to know is what are some things that you don't already have? I don't, I want to make sure that these kits are things that you, you know, have some unique things. In. And so, um, Just wondering what it is that you guys want. What do you want to see? Shabby chic. Yeah, I the vintage flair is gonna have some shabby chic stuff, but I might, you're you're right. Um, Carrie, I might just do a shabby chic one. And Victor Victorian. And Victorian. Okay. So what are some things that you guys like in Victorian theme that you aren't able to get your hands on or that is so expensive that you you don't really want to buy a whole bunch of it, but you would in like a kit? Yeah, Luann, there's going to be one. Um, one coming up soon. It's going to be called Vintage Flare. And that one's going to be really fun. Yeah, the Victorian one. What are some things you'd like to get? with you victorian is forte so what is thing what are things that you want victorian papers okay and i i know a lot of you are saying ephemera so um i'm thinking that oh i'm happy um i'm thinking about maybe doing some printables that would in the kits and then also give you a link so you could reprint them if you wanted to but I know not everybody has um not everybody has access to computers so I um I also have a very good friend who owns a print shop so he would be able to print us some very nice um print quality professional quality prints um on nice cardstock So Victorian ladies, okay. You love coffee stuff too, Debbie? I'm a, well, you guys know I'm like a coffee fan. Um, I don't drink it, but I love to make coffee journals. And 
and ads. Yeah, I do have a lot of Victorian ads actually. So how about tea with coffee too? Yep, I like that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, actually, I just, I have some vintage teapot wrapping paper. And Victorian ephemera. Okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't have printers and I want to make sure that whatever ephemera or printables that you have, you guys will have at least a set to start. And then I'll also send you the link. So that was kind of my plan. Victorian calling card. Yep, those are cool too. I forgot about those. I might have some of those. Now you all are going to make me start digging through my stuff. Cheryl, Ocean Beach or Nautical with a vintage twist. You ladies are going to keep me very busy. Yeah, Jennifer, I'm looking at putting these kits. Um, what I'm looking to do is launch them. So before I put the kits in the in the Etsy shop, I will launch them and show them to you guys first. So so if you have not subscribed to my channel, you need to subscribe so that you can and and you know click the little notification bell so that when I start, then the plan would be that these add-on kits will be there for you in these themes, these different themes. Well, Debbie, that's <laughs> Debbie says I should quit my job. Um, I there's some things that I'd like to change. Um, and so I'm really gonna put a lot more time into my Etsy store. Um, my lives, a lot of you love my live videos, my live sales. So I'm going to be doing that as well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, and um, so there's some things that are going to change and things that I'm going to do. For those of you who don't know, I also own a long arm, long arm quilting business. Um, so I do that as well. That is called A Plus Quilting. Um, we do quilting all over the world. And I do have a listing in my Etsy shop for long arm. We do it at a really, really reasonable price. Um, and I have just a set group you can choose from for a really cheap price. <laughs> That's funny. Because I, I, love, I love to be creative and I love all of you. And I just want to bring you guys things that you can continue to be in cre creative. And I want to inspire people. And so I try to create videos to inspire everybody. Um, and so I'm hoping that, you know, my videos inspire you. They get you excited. And that's what's so exciting about this Build-A-Journal kit. I'm just so excited about this launch. I'm so excited about these add-ons um, because I want people to be inspired. I want to see what you're making. I want people to have fun. And I want people to, to just enjoy um, all of this stuff. Debbie, I don't have a, a Facebook group. People keep asking me, do you guys want me to create a Facebook group? <laughs> Everybody keeps asking me. There's so many out there. And so I'm kind of like, you know, I don't know that I want to do a Facebook group because I there's just so many out there. And all you ladies are, are tied to so many of them. Um, and oh, hi, Barbara. Um, so many of you are tied to them. Barbara, if you, you need to click the, um, the little, um, bell at the top of my subscribe so that you can get my, um, 
when I'm live, it'll it'll give you a a notification. I know, Luann, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, oh, do I have time to do one more thing? Okay, I'll tell you what, you guys, this is my little idea book. So I'm going to put it on here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, say no. But you guys, so Creations Facebook group. All right. I'll put question marks by that and I'll think about it, okay? I agree, Debbie. I agree. That way you guys could show what's going on in there and I could, that group of people I could, yeah. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Talk to me a little bit more about that, Mary. A great thought journal. Hold on. I, I missed something, I think. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I'll show you guys a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give you, I can't give you too much because you're going to see all I'm coming up with ideas. Okay, I don't want to show you everything here. <laughs> Um, so I kind of have people that inspire me. So if you've looked at Mrs. Coggs, she does a lot of paperclip embellishments. And so I don't want to copy what other people do. Um, so I'm like, okay, this is what I've seen. Now, how do I create some new things? So I'm sketching in my journal um, some, some different, if a Bahamian dreams, what are we going to do now? I'm going to tell you um, the, the other one, which I can't show you the page that I sketched up is fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, so that tutorial is going to be amazing. Um, and once you all start putting those on your pages, people are going to be asking you, where did you come up with that idea? You, because it's going to be a big paper clip with lots of pockets and lots of tuck spots. Um, so I'm excited about that. is being inspired and I, and I just she always does lots of tips and lots of just different so when I'm thinking about what do people want to do and how can they add to their journals I have to look at like okay all right I don't do a lot of paper clips in my journals so let me go over and look at somebody who does paper clips and now that I've seen that okay that's not the paper clip that I want to do but how can I make something that would be useful in my journal that other people would like to do as well. And for me, I'm all about pockets, tucks, ephemera, and tucks and stuff in. I love ephemera. And as you've seen, I just added more ephemera kits to my, my shop yesterday. I love ephemera. I think you cannot have enough ephemera. I love to stuff things in pockets. And so for me, that's why I look at things and go, okay, now how can I make a a paper clip and how can I make it so that it has pockets and tucks and all this stuff in it. So that's kind of what, what I've been thinking about. Um, the I'm excited about the Winter Wonderland one, which I'm hoping to launch in end of October or November. That one is going to be all about um, beads and sequins and seed beadings. You're going to have beading needles um, and some more um, hand sewing things, um, but there's going to be a lot of dangles and tabs and, and paper clips and embellishments and just things to, <coughs> excuse me, add a little sparkle to things. So anyway, whew, I have, I've been trying with paper clips, love if I'm around my journal stuff. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. So you guys, I don't want to keep you too much longer. I have gabbed so much, but I do want to, I probably bored you all to death. All right. So I'm going to be giving away this little mini scrap sampler. And it's going to Mary from Tidbits from the Attic. Congratulations. Yay. 
so excited. Is she still in here? Mary's still in here. Oh, I think she might have. Is Mary still in here? Or did she go to bed? Awesome, awesome, awesome. So Mary, um, I do need you to, whoops, let me get my email. I need you to email me at rachelreed2014 gmail.com so that I can um, mail this out to you. So email me right after this live and I will get this in the mail to you tomorrow. So anyway, I just want to say thank you to all of you who are supporters. Um, if you haven't ran out to get your kit, um, I will do a free gift with anybody who purchases up until 2 a.m. today. Hi, Erica. You're, I hope you're, you're just getting in, huh? Ooh, just spilled all those beads, you guys. So anybody who purchases this kit, the base kit today, will get a free gift in their package. Or anybody who purchases a lavender and lace kit today will get a free package, a free gift, excuse me. Oh, I do need to go to bed, you guys. Um, a free gift if you purchase either one of these today. Um, I'm so excited for you guys. I'm excited for myself. I think this is going to be a great journey um, for all of this. And, oh, Erica, you got your, your super cute stuff from my shop. Awesome. I'm glad it came. I was wondering if you received it. Um, up until, um, oh, sorry. Well, um, two, I will put a free gift in your package. So I put my Etsy store in there again. If you can't order today, that's fine. They're going to be up in my shop. Once they're gone, they're gone. But I'll be creating new add-on kits. I think these are going to be fun. I hope you all take the journey with me. I can't wait to get these videos out to you. Just know that these kits will be going out later this week. I have to finish up a couple of the videos. I want to make sure they're really good for you guys. Big hugs to all of you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you get my notifications. I will make sure. Um, Lynn, um, Lynn, it will ship to you. Just, just give what I need to do is open it back up. Um, there was a problem, Lynn, for international shipping. So um, give me about five minutes and I'll open that back up as soon as I get off and you'll be all set. Oh, you're welcome, you guys. Watch the replay. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Big hugs. You're all inspiring. And I hope I inspired you a little bit tonight. Have a great night. See you all soon. And Lynn, I'm going to go over and fix that in the Etsy shop. So go ahead and give it a try. Thank you again. Bye, guys.